The Saints escaped Jacksonville with a win. My four takeaways from that win, we start at number four. Appreciate Cam. Over nine terrific seasons, Cam Jordan has now played 142 games for the Saints, and I'm guessing you know this, but you know how many games he's missed because of injury? Yes, zero. Sunday in Jacksonville, Jordan had two sacks, two tackles for loss, and two quarterback hits. As a team, the Saints had two, two, and three, so the big plays up front Sunday pretty much all came from Jordan. Appreciate Appreciate Cam because those two sacks tied him for third most in team history. And it was the 16th time in his career he's had two or more sacks. In those games, the Saints are now 14 and 2. Number three, combined with Jordan's work, Marshawn Lattimore and the secondary shined again. Lattimore was excellent shutting down DJ Chark. He's reestablished himself as the Saints DB star. Heading into this game, Jags quarterback Gardner Minshew was sixth in the NFL fell in quarterback rating with a 105-6, better than Tom Brady or Aaron Rodgers or a bunch of really successful quarterbacks. You know what his quarterback rating was Sunday? A 51-4, which is horrible. Lattimore and company gave him nowhere to throw. Number two, Murray Share. Sunday was by far Latavius Murray's best game as a Saint. His screen pass touchdown was called back, but Murray got the ball 11 times for 79 yards, his biggest numbers as a Saint. And look, it's a long season. The goal is still to be playing football in February. To do that, this guy has to stay as fresh as possible, and he is banged up right now. In the first five games, Alvin Kamara had 101 touches. Murray had 30, which means Kamara got 77% of the running back touches. Sunday, the split was a little more even. Murray got it 38% of the time, and I think this split is better for the Saints long term. And my number one takeaway from Sunday, the offensive performance is the new norm. Last week, the Saints threw up 457 yards against the Bucks, and we all thought, this offense is great, even without Drew Brees. But check out the total yardage numbers in the four games without number nine. At this point, this looks like the new norm. This looks more like the anomaly. Look, there's a reason that this guy is a first ballot Hall of Famer. It's just not going to go as well without him. But the Saints can and now have have won with those smaller offensive numbers. And maybe the best thing Teddy Bridgewater has done in his four starts is protect the ball. He hasn't fumbled, and he's thrown just two interceptions in four games. Of all the quarterbacks with at least four starts, Bridgewater is fifth in the NFL in fewest interceptions. Just don't expect consistently large numbers until Breeze returns. And that's my biggest takeaway from Jacksonville. We're back with more in a minute.